Well, Hurricane Milton has thrown us a bit of a curve. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Report, Cruise Update from Sun Princess. We are on day 14 or 15, I think, and we got a notification or a, a PA from the captain last night that thanks to Hurricane Milton, we are not going to be docking in Fort Lauderdale as scheduled on Wednesday. Actually, we were going to get in on Tuesday evening and they were going to do some ceremonial stuff and then we would be disembarking Wednesday morning. Well, that's all changed. So I'm going to give you some updates. I've got some notes here. I apologize for the stateroom being in disarray. We normally wait until uh, Michael, our, our stateroom attendant, comes in and cleans up the room before we do these videos. But things are kind of crazy because of the change of plans here. So apparently the Coast Guard has shut down the ports of Fort Lauderdale and Miami and they're not allowing any ships to dock until Friday. Now the captain did not specify whether or not this would be on Friday morning, Friday afternoon, Friday evening. He didn't say. We're hoping it's Friday morning. I went to guest services this morning because I had to get my medallion uh, either recharged or replaced. I'm not sure what they do. It wasn't working. It hadn't been working for about three days. I uh, couldn't get into the cabin with it. It only worked about half the time at some of the bars and the lounges to get a drink or something. So they replaced it. It's working now. That's a good thing. So I don't know how long these are supposed supposed to last. There is a battery inside. I don't know, we've been on, what, a couple of weeks? And it's, it started dying after about 13, 14 days, 12 or 13 days. Anyway, let me know if you've had that same experience with your medallion. So while I was down at guest services, I wanted to ask a couple of questions. First of all, since we're now going to be on board the ship for two more days, how does that affect the premier package that we purchased? I was told not a problem. It's still in effect. I don't guess they're going to charge us any additional for these additional two days. So we'll still be able to get drinks and dining or whatever we use the Premier package for. That's a good thing. Uh, we haven't heard much. We did get a statement from the captain. We got a letter here in the in the stateroom, but it was it was basically the same as what he said over the PA. And uh, he kind of basically makes it sound like as far as your airline reservations, good luck. I mean, you're just going to have to get with the airlines and rebook. However, we booked through Princess through the Easy Air, and we have been told through, we contacted Easy Air last night, a representative, and we've also talked to guest services, and they've told us that Easy Air will take care of all this for us, that they'll rebook us on new flights. Because obviously, uh, we're not going to have flights coming out on Wednesday. I'm sure right now what they're waiting for is to know exactly what time slot on Friday. If there is a time slot on Friday, everything's still kind of in flux because nobody knows what the hurricane's going to do. You know, it could die down and we could get in early on Friday or it could amplify and we may be delayed even more. We don't know yet. I'm sure this is a tough thing for Princess to deal with because they had travel agents and media people that were going to be coming on board in a couple of days. I think they're also going to have a couple of days there with nobody on board except workers that were going to be rearranging the restaurants. And so it's, it's really probably thrown a, quite a wrench into their works. Uh, so you know, sympathy to Princess, because they're having to deal with this too. So it's it's not an easy situation for anybody. Now, we, I still work, so I was needing to get back to the office on Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. We had this happen once before, a, couple, a few years ago, maybe three years ago on Holland America, where we were delayed by one day getting back into port. And Holland America was very good. They took care of everything. They rebooked us on new flights. We didn't have to do anything. We're hoping we're going to have that ex same experience because of Easy Air. And I will let you know what that experience is. But right now, 
guest services has told us that since we booked our air through Princess's Easy Air, they take care of everything and we should be getting a letter within the next day or so to explain what our new flights will be and if that's the case, great. Now we did last night, we went ahead and booked another flight for Friday just to be safe. But we'll probably, I think we have until tonight to cancel that so we can cancel that and get a full refund from American Airlines. But we didn't know what to do last night. We hadn't heard all this stuff about Easy Air yet. Okay, so let me give you a little more update on some other things um, that I've made a few notes on since my last video. I've already talked to you before about the Wi-Fi on board the ship. I mean, I know uh, Princess claims this to be the fastest Wi-Fi at sea. Certainly not the fastest Wi-Fi I've ever had at sea. In fact, it's kind of slow. But I will say one thing about it. It is the only Wi-Fi that I've ever used on a cruise ship that works with my VPN. Uh, I do have VPN, a virtual private network, and normally on most cruise ships, they just simply, their internet will not work with a VPN. But this one does work with a VPN. Now it does slow it down. It makes things slower, which is not good when the internet's already slow. So if I need uh, to upload a video or I need to do something, I need better um, throughput or better speeds, I turn the VPN off during those periods. Uh, another thing I will mention that I didn't mention before, you can probably see up behind me this air vent. Uh, the way this Cabana Mini Suite is designed, it blows right on your head because it's right above the bed. And so you get a lot of cold air uh, blowing on you at night. And not a big fan of that. I'd prefer that it come out of the center of the ceiling. Some of them have them where they're baffled. We've even thought about maybe hanging something up, uh, something up there in front of it with some magnetic hooks, maybe a towel or something, just to kind of divert the air down a little bit and keep it from blowing on our head. Uh, I, I wish they could do something about that. Um, also going to talk about the Good Spirits Bar. We've been to Good Spirit, Spirits now once. Uh, pretty disappointed. It was very small. It is, what I like about it is quiet. It's, it's the only quiet bar, really. Kind of secluded on deck seven. And, but it only holds 38 people. It's very small. Very, very small. And uh, we went in there one night. We ordered drinks. I ordered my Crown Royal. They served it to me in a cocktail glass instead of a rocks glass. And when I asked about it, I know it sounds crazy. sounds like you're just complaining about something. But it, it does make a difference for some reason how you experience the, co the drink. Uh, the type of glass are you drinking at? That's why they have rocks glasses. And he just said all the rocks glasses were dirty and didn't offer to go to another bar to get me another one. So, you know, basically that was that. Uh, as far as our experience at Crown Grill, we've now dined there twice. Uh, we dined there maybe three nights ago, and then we dined there again last night. Food's very good, service very good. Again, there's no bar at the Crown Grill on Sun Princess. On Discovery Princess, it has its own bar where you can sit and have a nice quiet drink before dinner. We like to do that. We like to show up maybe half an hour early put our name on the list so they know we're there, and then have a little pre-dinner cocktail or drink. Uh, there's nowhere to do that on Sun Princess. You either have to go to Good Spirits Bar, which is very small, and sometimes you can't even find a place to sit, and, and Good Spirits doesn't start serving until 6.15. So what we end up having to do is either go to O'Malley's, which is very noisy, or go out to Bellini's, which is right off the piazza, which is very noisy because they're always doing line dancing or something out there. So there is no nice, quiet place to enjoy a drink before a nice dinner like at Crown Grill. In fact, none of the restaurants we've been to have their own bar where you can have a drink before dinner. We went to Love by Brito uh, night before last. Very, very nice restaurant. Beautiful. One of the nicest views you'll ever see on a cruise ship. The food was very good. The service was immaculate. But there's no place to sit and have a drink before you go to dinner. They have a little patio outside that you can sit on. They probably bring you a drink. 
but there is no dedicated bar to and, and it's so far away from everything you'd either have to walk all the way to the front of the ship to go to the dome uh, to the I believe it's called the Cascade bar to have a drink which would be a long walk both ways or I guess you could take the elevator down to another deck uh, to have a drink but it, I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I'm the only one that is concerned about that uh, as far as the other thing we did put to the test another thing we put to the test uh, uh, the other night we were at Bellini's having a drink and we just wanted a little snack we had had a big lunch we didn't really want to go to dinner we just wanted something to snack on so we thought we'd try this ocean now delivery which is kind of like the room service but they'll deliver it to you anywhere on the ship but if you're at one of the bars or lounges or out by the pool they will deliver food to you and you order it through the app now i struggled to get the app to work the to place the order for some reason i had a little trouble getting it to take the order it couldn't figure out where we were so what we did is we went into the app on ricky's phone and it it could tell it said yeah you're in bellini's it knew where we were so we placed the order through through her app and i'm not kidding it was less than 10 minutes the food arrived i was shocked how fast it was in fact if you're there at a peak period at bellini's you could get an ocean now order of food faster than you can get a drink order <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Anyway, uh, but Ocean now, uh, thumbs up. We do have a schedule tonight. We're supposed to eat at Sabatini's again. That's our second time. That was one of our favorite restaurants we've eaten at so far. So we're going back to Sabatini's. But for the next two nights, we haven't booked anything yet because... You know, we just found out last night uh, that we're going to be on board for two more nights. So that's my update for today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you're on Sun Princess and you're experiencing some of the thing, these things, you have more information, please put it in the comments down below. Uh, if you have any questions or any other things, comments down below much appreciated don't forget if you haven't done so already please click that little subscribe button down below and don't forget the notification bell that way youtube will let you know when we come out with new videos and most importantly if you enjoyed this video if you got anything out of it give me a thumbs up that really does help our video rankings on youtube and i appreciate you joining me today and until i talk to you next time smooth sailing